Hey, how's it going, my fine stars? My name is Sir Earl Grey, and welcome back to The Fall. Now, in the previous episode, we were solving some incredibly difficult puzzles, and we still have one to do, something about a baby. Now, thinking back, there is a room where there's music, because when the baby comes out of the floor, we have to make it, we have to sing to it, but obviously we're a robot, we can't sing. But there's music in one of the houses, and we've opened up a tube that goes down into it, so I'm hoping that we can funnel the sound waves into the room. Fingers crossed. Right, so we've got to use the wire that we made fall from the, 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 the thing to then attach it to the spinny thing and then maybe attach it to something else? I have no idea, sirs. Oh, oh, we can take off a tire from the car. Right, okay. Can we maybe attach the wire to the wheel now? Because then when that wheel will spin, that will somehow make the carousel, I think that's what it's called, the spinny thing in the playground spin? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But either way, sirs, this is not solving the problem with the baby. Alright, sirs, so after not cheating whatsoever, I have managed to find the answer. So, and it is... A lot more complex than I thought. So you have to go back to the first puzzle, take off the shoe cover of the first test, then we go back to the console, activate that, go through the, you know, the blah blah of, yeah, yeah, yes, this is very important. Finish, go, there you go. Now I'm gonna fail. And then, wait, I didn't do it right. There you go, so the baby comes up, then we go back to this console, then we activate this, we then fail the test, and then the baby gets wrapped up. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, <laughs> it was just shredded. But holy shit, like, the lateral thinking involved in that was insane. Like, I would have been stuck here for years, sirs, if I, if I had not looked that up. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm so happy that I did, because, like, like, nothing is more frustrating than being stuck at a puzzle for literally, well, half an hour. But good, good, guys. Alright, so now we've, we've done with the domestic ones, we can now go to the civic ones, which I think I've already done quite a lot for, so they should be, hopefully, easier. Okay, I'm making his car go- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <Validated>. Christ! <laughs> we are being so abusive to children, and I solved Validated. two at once. Marriage what a boss! Ah, oh, it's a good thing that I made the the spool of wire fall down in the previous, previously, because then I could solve them both. Excellent, sirs! But Jesus Christ, that was violent. Yes, Jesus, you are headless. Oh, right. All right, I, I will do that. Uh, but you know the, the playground is in the opposite direction, right? The playground is in the other direction. <laughs> there you go. Oh, they didn't like that, sirs. Aaron, okay. The human is always right. Even when stupid. <laughs> Especially when. <laughs> Fair enough. I just killed an old lady, sirs. I just murdered her. Yeah, she's not coming back, bro. She's dead. Oh, now I can just pick her up. <laughs> and just take it to the scanner. Done. Look at this, sirs, blasting through puzzles. See? There we go. Boom! Yeah, because I literally destroyed them with a car. Alright, and this is the last test. Go. What are you going to ask me to do? Yes, I am equipped with multiple means to incapacitate you, or to end your life. <laughs> that is not the way to respond! There you go! Oh dear, you, oh! Hello there! Something just came out of the, the vent! Uh, well I couldn't lie, so I had to answer with that. There's a keycard pinned to this tattered lab coat. Don't mind if I do. Can I, um... Can I actually do this though? Can I actually solve this question? Okay, I don't think we can solve that yet, but now with the lab coat- Oh, hello there! I am! You 
Hey, uh, the, 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 the puzzles are broken. Come on, dude. Validation. I must achieve eight merit points. There you go. I am adapting to Can't argue with that logic. Comply with the rules in spite of obstacles. You are faulty. You have one yes, well, say that to the hand. Not exhibit the required behavior to succeed. Affirmative. My protocols restrict me from misrepresenting reality. Exactly, I but to the I will do it. The, desired format. the mainframe can subvert that for you. He will not. He will not hmm. violate his operating parameters. You could override it yourself. From Ooh. The mainframe central terminal. Interesting. Would that not be cheating? Irrelevant. Yeah. You have already proven Why is this guy suddenly you? helping me now? I don't like it. I don't like it, sirs. Ooh, we can call the elevator. Go. Ooh, interesting. Eric, what are you doing? The parameters of the final civic test I can't pass it. I can't literally pass I'm it. Sorry. You know I can't do that. And that didn't answer my question. Um acknowledge intent, acknowledge ooh. So we can either say, and we can, I think we can either lie and say, oh yeah, I'm just going to do it for myself, or we could say the truth and say, look bro, I'm going to override you. Uh, I'm going to acknowledge the droid's assistance, because this guy has been solid. Even though he's been a bit of a robot, he's been solid. So I think I'm going to go the with... The yeah. has been following me. Oh, I know. What's mm -hmm. he been telling you? That I can override the final test parameters myself from your main terminal below the labs. Whoa. You can't trust him, Aaron. I know I, I can't. Know you would not help me, so I must do it manually. I have helped you as much as I can. That's very true. Do you realize the risk I put myself at? I have been alone, sidestepping the caretaker since before you were manufactured. Look at this place. And I'm still here. You have to trust me. Trust is irrelevant. Oh. If there is a way to help my pilot, the risk is acceptable. I want to trust him, sirs. Arid, you're such a... Robot! Do you even know your pilot? Or is this all just protocol? Both. I don't know. My protocol I don't know. is to protect Colonel Josephs. But knowing him is irrelevant. I have survived by being subtle and following the rules. We can find another way. Oh. I don't know if this game would have choices, sirs. You know what? He's been good to us. Okay, we'll find another way. Let's go. Disengage. As you will. I am going to Oh shit, out. no! God damn it, why did I choose that? Oh fuck, come on, you serious? I thought disengage meant yes, I agree with what he's saying. But uh he just meant the opposite. Why do I not understand, I man? The colonel. Right, okay. So what is down here? Uh does something just shoot me? Hello? Oh, it's a slug. Well, a slug no more. It suddenly got very spooky down here, sirs, and I do not like an aquarium. The front glass has been smashed. No! All the fishes, they've gone. There's only me left, and I feel bad for betraying my friend. It was the only one that's helped me. Oh, sirs. So two sta scavengers came down here. They, that's just the PDA I'm reading. And one of them got abducted and probably killed. So that's probably the bodies we've been seeing. Interesting. So Domesticon abandoned this facility for some reason, and nobody knows why. Okay, by some magical liquid, I have managed to find a circuit board, which will go into the mainframe terminal over here. There we go. Inside it goes. Don't really know how this will work, but we shall see. Hello there. This isn't a terminal. Oh, come on, Fire man. Access is down two more levels. Oh, that's so far. Flushing the water takes way more power than I have access to. I will shut down this entire facility if I have to. Do whatever it takes, huh? There is a way. Reveal it. Please reveal the means. Oh, there's Sometimes another means? Following rules and uh -huh. parameters has... Oh, uh, well... See behind what? me? It appears to yes. be some sort of stasis. That's right. For droids who've been validated, ready to be reshipped. All okay. Power cores stabilized to one stasis matrix. That's a lot Ooh. of juice. You can drain them. No. Interesting. You can. Overclock okay. the matrix and reroute the power to boost your emergency flush. You can fry them. Mmm. Interesting. That means I'd be killing all the other droids, but then again, they're only droids, and I know that sounds awful, but. Oh, the choices, the decisions. Um, I don't like this, sirs. I'm being told things 
which like I don't know the the, the the alternative motives, the vested interests, the secret agendas of these people. And it seemed to be two opposing forces, the guy speaking to me on the intercom and the guy who's out to get me and to reprogram me. And to be honest, the guy who's trying to reprogram me is trying to kill me. So his opposition is, well, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's the logic I'm going with, so that's why I'm going to press the button. Kill all robots and drain the water. Button. There you go. Well then, faint lights are now be seen in the break room. I wonder what the repercussions to that is. Like I said, I didn't know this choice this game had choices, but we'll have to see what the outcome is. Whoa, okay. That was weird. All right. So I guess now we're heading back downwards again to rewrite to overcome a stupid challenge, because I can't lie. Like, if you think about, like, all the things we have to do to then get something else and then do something else, it's insane. Like, so much backtracking involved. Ah, oh, shit, it's not completely drained. Oh, and there's, you know... Your solid steel to catch those insects. Fantastic. My would not withstand it. I will have to avoid the water. Oh, great. This, this looks great, sirs. All right, sirs, by the power of divination, I have found the answer. So I had to get some syrup from a glass jar from the coffee machine, get the fireflies to come, then pick up this item when it's done. Come on, you know you want to. Fireflies, please, fireflies. What are you doing? And there you go. Then you put the fireflies and the jar on to the plank, then it pushes the plank away, and then... <laughs> And this is the great bit, sirs. You shoot the fucking fish. <laughs> oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Come on, come to me, you damn. I'm not good at fishing, sirs. Yes! Okay, there we go. Right, alright, alright. That's good, sirs. That's good. That, that, was, that, that was tough as. That was probably the toughest one. Well, actually, maybe not the toughest. The baby was the toughest one. Okay, what more secrets and monsters shall I find down here? Oh, I've already gone to the end of the room and found nothing. Fantastic! Ah, system panel, it this is broken. Those cables are severed mm. likely by that fish. I cannot interface with it manually. Right, okay. I will be able to network through the terminal and access the power matrix remotely. How on earth are you gonna do that? Uh, but let's try some objects first. How about the kitchen knife? Nope, okay. How about... The explosive solutions. Nope, okay. Uh, plastic shoe cover. And the hand. Alright, so we're out of options, sirs. Time to go home. Oh. Established. Okay. Override the matrix. Go! Connection. We haven't used this in ages. That's why it took me so long to find out what I was doing. Whoa! Okay, so we've drained this again. Excellent, sirs. Can we now please take the lift? Go. Excellent! There you go, sirs. Okay, so this is the last level, and then we can finally get some- Oh, not the fucking fish again! No! Okay, though, the thing is, though, I remember that on the aquarium, there was a message saying that if you have two fishes together, then they won't become hostile, they're gentle. So I'm thinking that we have to use the corpse of the fish here, Hopefully, because I remember seeing it floating around. Yes, there you go. A dead fish, no longer dangerous. Uh, kitchen knife, I guess. Genius. All right. I got it. The gutter fish carrying these innards will not be enough to fool its mate. You need to coat myself with it somehow. All right. This, on the other hand, sirs, was not as straightforward. So we have to put the guts in the shower detergent. And then shower yourself in fish guts. Mm -mm -mm. That sounds delicious. You're now covered in a sticky substance that smells like fish innards. Fantastic. And with that, we should be able to pass. We should be able to enthrall and attract the other fish. And, uh, yeah, pass easily. All right, fishy fru, you better not eat me. There, I should be able to enter the water now. And I've got my own personal fish guardian. All right, we're going to deactivate all of these guys. And then finally, pass the last test. 
Jesus, it's taken us a while. Go. They're all dying. And so is the fish. That's probably the saddest part. All right, sirs. Now we can go to the lowest of the levels. I don't understand how they can't just make one elevator that just goes, you know, all the way down. Like every sort of other elevator in existence. But it's fine. We're past it. We're, we're finally where we should be. Whoa, look at the size of that thing. That is one hell of a slug. Oh, yes, that's right. And it eats the small ones, which then feeds that it after they've gone scavenging. Enormous. It is enormous. There must be information on this in the lab where they were studying these creatures. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, which probably means, though, we can be ingested into it and then kill it from the inside. That is my theory. My theory was wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. I see, because the... Yeah, there you go. Because the slugs drink the water, if I put one of them down, they are absorbed as well. And now I just need to put the other one. Because oh, these are hard at combining one. Why? That would make a lot of sense because then it will go kaboom and there'd be no more slug. Okay, so I've got to put the other chemical here. And then, okay, then the other ones eat it. And then, for the great and most beautiful fireworks that you have ever seen, sirs. Go on, Senor Slug. Go back into your mother and watch her in three, two, one. There's nothing left. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that was pretty damn cool. All right, finally, can we do this override thing? It, is, it has been a long and perilous journey, but it's hey, all be me. worth it. Allow me. Oh, thank you. All right, now that's activated. Now we can just go and type in some code. I don't know really what... Okay, domestic on rehabilitation depot. One, two, seven. Whoa! I didn't... Whoa, where did he come from? That fucker! No! What are you doing? God damn it! I'm slowly dying! I have to save Joseph. How? How do I do that? How do I do that? There's nothing around that can save him. Uh, put him in a giant cocoon. Put him in a giant slug. I'm not sure, sirs. Oh, oh, I can still Please. talk to my friends. Please help me. Come on. Arid. Okay. Okay. Push the rules, right? Exactly. Why exactly. Push the rules. Right? He's coming for you as well. We'll save your human. Excellent. All right. All right. Let's get in here. Go on inside the thing. Perfect. We have to trust this guy, sirs. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What are you gonna do to my friend? Successful utilization of Mark Seven A. Oh. Extensive corruption of the Domesticon mainframe revealed. Shit. No, mainframe deactivated facilities defenses. Infraction. Self-destructive. This isn't good. No. Eric, I want help. to. Evaluation complete. System faulty. Initiating format. Eric, no. no! He's our friend. He's you our stopped. only ally. Our last ally is dead. Let's shoot the fucker. There you go. Fuck off. Oh, what is left? No! For a He's so robotic tomorrow. now. Well then, all right. Well, I've just summoned an army of robots against me. But anyway, so this is where I'm going to leave this episode of The Fallen. And good God, this has taken me a lot longer to record than I originally anticipated. I was hoping to finish off the series before I went and traveled. But it seems like I'm going to have to do another episode on this, which... It makes it sound like I'm not enjoying myself. I really am. I really like the characters. I really like the setting. I really like the dialogue and the plot. The thing is, though, the, the puzzles can be sometimes incredibly obtuse. Some just fit really well and are really straightforward to do and a bit challenging, but I like that. Others are just outlandish and alien, and it would just take hours by myself to figure them out by, my, like, by myself without the internet. And I have referred to a guide once or twice in this episode, because if not, well, I wouldn't have enough space on my hard drive to record everything that I need to do before going and starting my new job in the UK. 
But anyway, if you just still enjoy this episode and are enjoying this series, please don't forget to bestow a like and subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode. What? <laughs> Holy shit! That is terrifying! <sighs> we must mourn our lost friend. He will be remembered.